back to my channel. I'm not even in my room. This is my guest room. Only because my room is still childish because I refuse to take off the princess thing that's on my bed. We're not going to go into detail with that. Anyways, this is an updated real-time vlog. No more summer vlogs for you guys, okay? We're done with those, even though I do love my summer vlogs. But we're done. We're back in business. Real-time quarantine. What's up, coronavirus? What's up? What's up? Ruining our days. Ruining our nights. Ah! This will be weekly vlogs yes weekly vlogs because i am doing a challenge what is the challenge that you may ask well i love k-pop i love k-pop idols and because we're stuck in quarantine i thought this is the perfect opportunity to shred some weight <laughs> not only do i want to lose weight because i am gaining pounds and pounds <laughs> it's also because i want to tone up my body uh, due to the fact that I have low stamina. When I say low, I'm not kidding you. <laughs> I think from the very beginning of my childhood, yes, I love to go out and play and run. It's just, it would only be for a short period of time. And it's lasted till now. And I still have the weakest stamina. And if you don't know how weak I am, not just in stamina, but in strength, recently in the past, if I attempted, attempted one push-up, my arms will get sore the next day. Like this part, I guess shoulder, arm, whatever you want to call this part. This part will get sore for one attempt. But hey, hey, if you try to like beat me up, I will. I'm a ninja. I am an assassin. Like you, you better watch out for me. <laughs> I thought it would be a good idea to use this um, quarantine time to, you know, take care of myself because I do want to not feel tired. I'm also thinking in long term. What I'm doing right now isn't healthy. I'm literally a couch potato. And as much as I like being a couch potato, I also don't like being a couch potato. So it's, it's a difficult relationship that I have in my head. So I'm taking this time to do this challenge because I want to look fit. I want to like come out quarantine looking fresh looking fly this challenge will take four weeks to do because i mean that's what the, the youtuber told me to do so we're gonna follow her guidelines so what am i doing drum roll please i am doing the korean 11 abs challenge yes you know that body this body these bodies yeah i want that okay so the youtuber that i'm following to you know accomplish this a Korean 11 abs experience is a youtuber named Unmi. All their stuff and information will be linked down below. Today, or I guess this week, we're gonna focus on week one. So for the first week, uh, the workout routine is we're gonna do three sets of these. I say we. I mean like if you guys want to do it with me, then we can get them body goals. You know, mm -hmm, it's not about your voice, it's about that body language. Ursula coming at me, bruh. <laughs> For the week one workout routine, there are three sets that I'm going to do. So the first thing is that we're going to do 10 leg raises and then we'll get 30 seconds rest. The next one is we're going to do seated knee ups. 10 reps of those, 30 second rest again. And then, ooh, I hate these. <laughs> I despise them. And those are planks. Uh, do them for 30 seconds. And if you can, do it for a minute. And if you want to, do it longer. But because I'm starting this out, I'm going to do it for 30. And then later on, hopefully, I'll graduate to a minute. And then, again, 30 seconds rest after those. The next one we'll do is side planks. Those are 30 seconds. And if, again, if you can, you can do more than that. Next one is crunches. 10 reps of those. 30 second rest. You know, repetitive, simple, easy. I forgot to mention side crunches, and you're gonna do 10 reps of those. And then last two are twist cycles. Do those for 20 times, 30 second rest. The last workout routine are cross scissor kicks, and those are done 20 times as well. On me, there's two people who run it. There's actually the model <laughs> that's getting trained by the actual workout trainer. So like they're working together. It's a really cute relationship. Oh my God, they're so cute. They're so funny. Please watch the video, okay? <laughs> So the personal trainer recommends to do these workout routines five times a week. Uh, so for me, I'm doing it from Monday to Friday so that my weekends could be my lovely break. The reason why we're doing this five times a week is because specifically the abs and the core need to be consistent with these workout routines. So she recommended five. If it was, for example, 
what would be the next challenge? Ooh, hint, hint. Uh, if you're doing butts or legs, you would only need to do these three times a week. For abs and your core, we gotta do these five times a week. Okay, we gotta strengthen this belly. You can't, I'm patting myself. You can't, I'm patting myself. <laughs> the personal trainer also has a diet uh, routine to follow. So the diet routine for the first week is to have normal meals that you are usually eating, but have less proportion and also recommends no um, flour or alcohol. That's no problem for me. Oh my, the flour is, wait, no, wait. <laughs> I'm not an alcoholic, wait! <laughs> but no, I don't drink um, only because I believe my body can't handle it. If I drink too much, I gotta like use the bathroom to like excrete some things. Yeah. It's almost like when you're drinking coffee. It's the same reaction. If I drink coffee, it's gonna make me want to go to the bathroom. Uh, before I go and eat my food and do my workout routine, uh, I'll show you what my body looks like. Here's a picture. Okay, that's when I'm morning skinny. That's a term I just learned yesterday. Wow. <laughs> Knowledge at its finest. Today, I'm going to show you what I look like now when I'm morning skinny. So this is a, a B-roll. But uh, yeah, that's how skinny I am. I don't like to use the word skinny. I'd rather say healthy because I want to look healthier, obviously because I want to train my body more. But if I eat the most tiniest thing, I'll get super bloated. So after I eat this meal that I'm about to show you, I'm already gonna get bloated from it. So that's great, <laughs> but it's fine because that's why we're working out to not look bloated. Okay, let's go. This is my workout gear. Great, it's very cute. Crunk is adorable. Oh, I forgot to mention, personal trainer also recommended cardio workouts right after you've done this one, obviously to help you burn the fat. Anyways, I am learning Dun Dun, yes, from Everglow, cause you know, we're so done with this quarantine. The days will fluctuate whether what type of cardio I do, so I might be doing Everglow for the next few days or like this whole entire week just to get some cardio in, maybe blood, sweat, and tears, because I do know the full routine of that. Okay, because we're doing ab workouts, one tip that I've learned from Korean YouTuber, I forgot her name. He told us to specifically elongate this by doing like the Python stretch before and after the workout routine. just finished the three sets my abs are burning I'm dead <laughs> uh, I will take a break and then I'll start on cardio oh I forgot to mention but I'm just gonna write down in the description box in between sets you can have a one minute break or longer if you please so I'm at the place where there's actually a full body mirror and that's like at the front <laughs> hello see that luckily my door is a disrupted glass pattern I was gonna say grass I mean we're quarantining ourselves so hopefully no one's gonna walk up to our front porch and look at me I mean, it's fine because you know I, I dance fabulously <laughs> but yeah this is the only place with a full body dancing mirror I have not used this to practice dancing I usually just dance in front of my TV but I should try to use this mirror dance for the 30 minutes maybe for an hour I don't know I'm indecisive with my cardio routine because I love dance so it might go over it will not go under 30 minutes of cardio it will be over 30 or at least 30 mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi 
I just danced to Ever Grow Dun Dun. Not easy. Even though the choreography is learning it was easy, it's freaking difficult in terms of like how much stamina you need. Again, I'm very weak with stamina. Uh, the only part that I'm stuck on for Everglow is when they do that nice spin in the windmill and just, just look at the dance practice and you'll see what I mean. Like I know the movement, but during the moment, I fail at it. Anyways, I feel euphoric. I think it's what euphoria feels like. Oh my god, my brain feels oh, whoa. Good morning, guys. I currently look like an Ajuma, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm just letting you know that my abs are sore, which is a good thing, because that means the workout's working. The workout's gave me pain, which is going to trans into you know results because you know no pain no gain guess what else is sore this part of my arm because me and my little brother tried to attempt one push-up and see i told you guys i'm very weak <laughs> uh, just to clarify that the first week of the korean 11 abs challenge focuses on toning up the ab and then the following week we'll have cardio involved in it Oh, I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna get ready for food. <laughs> it's currently 1 p.m. and this is my well, top half of my workout gear. Uh, I'm about to work out with my lovely Matt. And then today for cardio, I will do some random dance play for an hour because obviously there's some songs I don't know how to dance to. So hopefully when I don't know those songs, those are my breaks. <laughs> but I'll just take breaks anyways, regardless if I do know the song, if I don't know the song. That's what I'm doing. I'm not going to bore you with doing the routine again. So you're just going to see me doing the cardio proportion. So let's go. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen my bangs this wet before. Besides, like, obviously me, like, taking a bath. <laughs> that random dance play playlist did a number on me. I thought I pressed record when I was eating my papaya, but no. So I just swallowed all the papaya. So that's, that's all the content you're gonna get from my little snack break between lunch and dinner. <laughs> Last time. It's a sausage. <laughs> Thank you, Anna. <laughs> Wait, what's it called? Damn it. I was gonna say wheelchair, but it's <laughs> Yo, I'm being smart with this. <laughs> Yo, look at this artistic skill. Really guys, this is my artwork. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> what is this, huh? <laughs> it's a red blood red cell, you guys. Cell. And then what is this? <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Good morning. <laughs> Third day. And I'm having my brunch now at 11 a.m. I'm having tapche. Is that surprising to you guys by now? We have a lot of leftover tapche. So yeah, that's literally gonna be my food for this whole entire week. So... Because I'm saying that, I don't know if I'm going to insert more clips of me eating it because you guys already know the drill. Chup te and, you know, my daily dose of almond milk. By the way, I'm also taking these. I guess, like, because I do it daily, it didn't cross my mind to, like, record it. But I also take these uh, vitamin gummies 
They are the Nature's Bounty Hair, Skin, and Nails Gummies with Biotin, and it's for skin and hair nutrients. It works in terms of my nails. I don't know if it's doing anything to my hair. Like, I don't know if it's supposed to, like, help my hair grow, but my hair isn't the problem. It's the nails, okay? Fun fact about my nails. <laughs> for some reason, this index finger is the weakest fingernail I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Every single nail is strong, but this one. But this one. Why you no strong? Why you weak? Do I gotta do like fingernail workouts? <laughs> oh, and you can get these at Costco. This is not sponsored. It's good. It tastes good. It's strawberry flavor. It works for me for my nails specifically because this has gotten stronger. So I'm happy. And if I don't take them, it immediately goes back to being brittle. Like, excuse me? <laughs> So I just finished the workout that was done on the mat and now today's cardio proportion isn't going to be fun. A famous K-pop idol um, named IU, her suggestion for her cardio workout was just to walk up and down the stairs. I'm gonna do that for at least 30 minutes. So let's get to it, walking up dumb stairs. I just finished the stairs workout. Oh my god, my chest is so sweaty <laughs> and my neck is sweaty. That was the most difficult cardio workout I've done. First, it was boring, <laughs> very boring. My legs started to feel shaky and then I got concerned. I timed myself using a stopwatch because like, if I wanted to take a water break, I would stop the timer, get my water, and then resume the timer when I'm back on the stairs. Now that I think about it, I think my whole body is shaking. You won't notice on the camera, but for me, I'm like vibrating. <laughs> I don't know if I would ever do that cardio again. Even going down the stairs was difficult. First off, I think maybe it's because I wasn't wearing like running shoes. But if you're like constantly on an incline, then yeah, I think you would need to wear footwear for that. So for my snack break, I'm gonna have <laughs> almond milk. And then some Activia Active Probiotic Yogurt. And this one's in the strawberry flavor. going to dance to Dun Dun again and Blood, Sweat and Tears. So here's clips of me doing that. <laughs> Chicken feet. Oh, someone already said chicken. Okay, what about this one? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Is the last day of week one. I'll do like a little mukbang. I'm eating my fried fish with brown rice and I'm gonna call this pickled onion. It helps cut up the fat but also to cut up the fat you dip it into this tamarind sauce and it has a bit of chili to make it 
extra spicy. So I'll tell you how I feel about this workout. It is very much doable. For someone, again, who isn't as strong, it is very doable because the steps are not difficult to execute for this week. Because again, this week is about toning up the abs. And I think like the cardio that I'm doing is giving me energy. Because again, I love dancing. Besides that stairs day, I'm just letting you know that for me personally, towards the end of this journey of week one, I have felt good in terms of health but also really tired for some reason. I guess because obviously you're working out every day and your body's not used to it because again, I came from being a couch potato to working out. So I think my body specifically is still adjusting to this new lifestyle. It doesn't feel weak. It just feels, ooh, you're so exhausted. <laughs> it's almost the same feeling when I socialize, I get like a big ball of energy and then once it's finally over, I'm like, oh my god, it's over. <laughs> like, I socialized enough for today. I just feel like I have like a tiny dimple, I think. Is that a dimple? Or is that just like an indentation? Because I don't have it here. What's also a struggle is finding content to vlog. Because... <laughs> I'm still a couch potato, you guys. Like, I want me more productive. I mean, like, yesterday, I just signed up for a spring class to do online. Oh! Oh! That was weird. Oh! Mm -hmm. Sometimes when I bite down and the food hits differently on the braces, it makes that weird styrofoam sound. Like, a similar sound towards that. And it's in your mouth to... Ah! I don't like that. <laughs> I'm also going to start learning Korean. Ooh, <laughs> or onion <laughs> sale. Anyways, I'm gonna finish this on my own because it's gonna take me forever to eat this if I eat and talk. <laughs> so I'll talk to you guys later, okay? I'm sorry that I had to leave like that. I just like having my workout to be started around 1 p.m. When I have that mindset, I like to dedicate at least an hour, maybe an hour and a half for like a break for my stomach to digest before I work out because I don't want to puke my food because that very unattractive <laughs> and very gross <laughs> uh, for today's cardio I am doing random dance play <laughs> here's clips of future me working out <laughs>